Justice G. Helen Whitener sits on the Washington State Supreme Court. Justice Whitener is extremely qualified. Justice Whitener, a faculty member at Washington Courts, also teaches street law civics classes at Lincoln High School in Tacoma. Watch Justice Whitener as she explains the workings of the Washington State Supreme Court. So the Washington State Supreme Court is the highest state court. Um, and saying that, it handles everything. Actually, it can handle everything. But it, of course, it doesn't have the manpower to handle everything. So we have here in Washington an intermediate court called the Court of Appeals. And they more or less, um, as a filter of the number of cases coming from the lower court up to the high court. But we technically can handle just about any case. But we take cases that fall into certain categories. Was there, um, is it of public import? Is it, you know, something that's truly going to impact the citizenry as a whole? Is it, um, is there a conflict in the lower courts in different cases that the Court of Appeals, for example, their decisions, because we have three Court of Appeals, is there something where one, one division is making um, a decision that's different than the other? Um, we hear those kinds of cases. We hear cases involving prisoners, inmates, um, personal restraint petitions, because once their cases have exhausted the lower courts, they have the ability to appeal to the higher court as long as they meet certain uh, requirements. We hear lawyer disciplinary matters, because we are the court that handles well, the lawyers for the state. The important thing I also think about our Supreme Court is it's, it's extremely diverse. And since joining it, it, it is um, said to be the most diverse Supreme Court, or the most diverse court, in the United States. We have, it's almost split in half before I got there. You have um, five white individuals, four of them women, and one white male. And then you have three, um, four um, people of color. You know, you have me now, I'm the first African American, black, and I use black, uh, female. You have uh, Native American, you have Asian and Mexican American, and you have um, Latino male. And with my coming to the bench, this bench now has two LGBT. I'm not the first, I'm the second. I'm also a fourth um, Supreme Court justice. I'm the fourth immigrant born. So right now I'm the only sitting one that is an immigrant born Supreme Court Justice. So it is very diverse, and I think that is going to be very helpful in the court coming up with decisions and opinions that are going to be impacting a larger population of our community and more encom encompassing of all. And I think that's really important for access to justice. So it should raise the trust and confidence in our courts, because our court is so diverse, you know? The Washington State Supreme Court and the U.S. Supreme Court, they're both the highest level courts, but the U.S. Supreme Court is the highest level court for the entire country. So the Washington State Supreme Court is the highest state court, and our decisions can be appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court. And it would be up to them using similar criteria. Is it going to have enough public import? you know, like the gay marriage case that came out of Washington State, that sort of thing. Um, and that would be the Flowers case from Eastern Washington. But overall, we don't interact, per se, the way people would think, well, you're on the Supreme Court, so you probably met Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Not yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> but um, we do similar things. Their position is um, not an elected position, it's a lifetime appointment, whereas Supreme Court justices on our state court, we are elected. I got appointed and then you get elected. So you, so you have to run to keep your position the next election cycle. <laughs>